Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. The lighting in my room right now sucks. Um, it is a really gloomy, rainy day outside, so I don't have much natural light going on. Anyway, today's video, as you can tell by the title, is going to be a big ass boohoo try on haul. I got a bunch of clothes and a few pairs of shoes as well. By the way, Boohoo did send me these items for free. As always, I'm going to keep it completely real with you guys and let you know what I think about the clothes, how they fit, how they feel, the quality of them. Just because they sent me this stuff doesn't mean it's going to like change my opinion in any way. So the first thing that I have here is this share t-shirt. I freaking love Cher. I got this in a size medium. If I'm not mistaken, I think the description online said it was supposed to be a little oversized. So if you want it to fit a little bit smaller and just like a regular t-shirt and not be oversized, then you definitely want to size down. And the quality of this actually feels pretty good. Like it feels pretty durable. It's not like a super thin, lightweight material. Here's the Cher t-shirt so cute i love the colors of it this is another thing that i would wear with some biker shorts i think it'd be really cute in the summer or even just with some leggings and it is long enough that if i wanted to pull it down over my butt i could the next item that i got is a guns N' roses t-shirt dress and this actually is described as an oversized t-shirt dress so i got this in my regular us size six and again the material feels good it's a nice like thick, good quality material. It feels like it'll actually last and hold up. So here's the t-shirt dress. I think that the length is perfect. It hits right at a place where even though it's like big and baggy, it still is a little flattering and looks cute. And even if I lift up my arms, it's not too short. So you could definitely wear some biker shorts or something underneath just to be on the safe side. If I even wanted to, I could take it and like tie it up and just wear it like a t-shirt as well. The next item is another oversized t-shirt and it says Brooklyn Concrete Jungle on it. And this I got in a size medium slash large. And again, the quality of this, same thing. It's a nice, good quality material. So this is the Brooklyn oversized t-shirt. I think this would be really cute with some biker shorts underneath or even just with some leggings like I have on right now. You could even like tie it up a little bit, wear it with jeans, you know, anything. It's just like super easy and really cute. The next item that I got is this square necked bodysuit and it does have the buttons on the bottom, which is super important to me. I pretty much won't get a bodysuit for the most part that doesn't have these buttons under here because it's just too annoying otherwise. But I love bodysuits because they just fit so nice and smooth. I like to tuck my tops in and sometimes if it's just a regular shirt you have all that extra material and it gets bunched up under your pants and it just looks kind of weird. So I just wanted to get another like simple staple type of top that I can kind of wear with anything. This is a little bit see-through and especially when you stretch it out you can definitely see through it. It doesn't feel like the best highest quality material if I'm being honest. Um, I don't know it just kind of feels and looks a little cheap. So I don't know how this is going to hold up. I don't really see this being something that is going to stay in my closet forever. And I did get this in a US size 6 as well. So here's the black bodysuit, and now see, this is the same size as the other ones, and this one fits perfectly. It is a much stretchier material than the other ones, so that's probably why, but this fits really well. Had I gone up one more size, I think that still would have fit okay too, but this one, the six, works well, and I like this. I like the ribbed material, and I am wearing a black bra under this, but it's like... As you can tell, it's like a teeny bit see-through, but not too bad. And I feel like it looks a little bit higher quality when you're wearing it, as opposed to when it's just like on the hanger. The next item is another bodysuit. Again, long sleeves, and it has a little bit, like not a full turtleneck. Oh, this says it is a turtleneck. But it doesn't really come up like all the way like a turtleneck does. It's a really nice soft material, and again, it does have the buttons on the bottom. This is another thing, like, if you really stretch it out, you can kind of see through it a little bit. The material of this feels pretty decent. It feels, like, okay quality. Um, not super high quality. It does feel a little on the cheap side. Like, I would compare this to, like, Forever 21 
kind of quality. So. This is that turtleneck bodysuit. I really love the color of it. It's a super soft, comfortable material, but this I wish that I had sized up in. I tried to button the bodysuit, and if I tried really hard, I probably could get it, but I just wasn't feeling ambitious enough tonight. So, yeah. It's a tad tight. I think had I gone up one size, that would have definitely been better. But, I mean, it still works. And honestly, even if I don't button it at the bottom, I can still tuck it in. And it's like a nice, smooth, thin enough material that it looks pretty seamless, like under leggings and pants and stuff like that. The next item, surprise, surprise, is another bodysuit. This is just like a one-sleeve tank top situation and it does have this cutout on the one side which I just thought was really cute. A nice basic but a little bit kind of on the sexier side. It is ribbed as well and this one also has buttons on the bottom. Um, as far as quality goes this feels pretty cheap. It's not the best quality by any means and I got this in a size US 6. So here's that one sleeve bodysuit and this fits okay. I do wish that I had sized up one size because it barely fits. Like, it's really tight and kind of riding up a little bit, which isn't too horrible, but it might get uncomfortable if I were wearing this, like, all day long. And because it's kind of tight and pulling down a little bit, I feel like this part isn't very secure. So if I, like, am moving around a lot, my boob will definitely pop out. So... I don't know if like double-sided tape will really help much with that. I think had I gone up a size, I would have been way better off. I'm finding that Boohoo bodysuits, I need to go up one size. Because I'm perfect with the size 6 and everything else, but their bodysuits for whatever reason are just like a little too short and tight on me. And I'm only 5'2", but it's still super cute. And maybe if I lose a little bit of weight, it won't be as tight and maybe fit a little better I don't know because I really love this but I honestly would be scared to wear it out in public just because of the nip slip situation the next item is something that I am so excited about I've really been into neon colors so this is a again the same kind of turtleneck situation where it's like not really a turtleneck but it does come up a little bit sweatshirt dress. This is nice and soft. It feels like pretty good quality and I just love the color of this so much. I think with dark hair and like a tan, oh this is so beautiful. So I got this in a size US 6. This dress is everything. I love it. I, I'm so into neons. It doesn't really have any shape to it, so if you wanted to, you could probably put a belt to like cinch your waist a little bit. The next item is another sweatshirt dress. This one has the same type of high neck, but it has a zipper in the front. I thought that this looked pretty cool and kind of retro. Oh, wait, I didn't even realize. This actually zips all the way down. So if you wanted to, you could even wear it open like a cardigan. I don't think I will do that though because I don't really like that as much. I like it like maybe not all the way zipped up, just kind of zipped down a little bit like that. I think that's so cute. And this again is a really nice like soft good quality material, not like scratchy or itchy or anything. And this I also got in a size US 6. I love this dress. This gives me all of like the sporty 70s vibes. I like it on me even more than just like on the hanger. And it's so comfortable. Like I could literally just curl up and go to sleep in this. It's so, so soft. And I think this would be really cute with some chunky sneakers to just add to the sporty vibe. Or even just throwing on like some sandals, some slides. Um, you could even wear it with heels if you wanted to dress it up. Like some strappy sandals or something. I don't know. Some people are probably going to hate this, but I think it's cute. The next item I'm so excited about, it is this one-piece bathing suit in this neon lime green. And I'm really hoping that this will be flattering because it has kind of like this ruched, textured fabric. So I feel like it'll be more forgiving. Regular swimsuit material, for the most part, I feel just kind of like, I don't know, it just emphasizes everything. And you can see like your belly button and it's like 
not good. I got this in a US 6 as well. So here is that bathing suit. It's super cute. I do wish that I sized up one size though because it is definitely a little bit tight and I don't know if you can tell but the straps are not adjustable on it which is super annoying and so the top part gets pulled down quite a bit and I will absolutely have a nip slip in this so yeah I mean it's cute I definitely will wear it for like pictures and stuff and if I'm just like going in a hot tub with like my friends or my boyfriend or something but I definitely cannot wear this out in public I feel like on camera it's not as flattering like you can definitely see my stomach but in person it actually looks a lot better and then the last clothing item is another thing that I'm so excited about for the most part I'm like really excited about all of these things but this is like top five for sure it's this oversized denim jacket I got this in a US 6 as well it's just so cute I love the color like the shade of denim is perfect I picture this with like that Guns N' Roses t-shirt dress and then like the ankle boots that I'm going to show you in a little bit or like my chunky white sneakers or even like Birkenstocks or some slides or something like that like just a really cute casual outfit I'm going to be wearing a lot of that this summer so here is the denim jacket I love this this is my new favorite jacket I just think it looks so cute especially with a t-shirt dress like this probably could have sized down to a four um but I think that this still fits nicely. I don't think it looks too, too big. Moving on to the shoes. I got three pairs of ankle boots. So the first pair are these ones. And I love the heel. It's a nice chunky heel. So they're going to be comfortable. They're going to give you good support. And it has a pointed toe, which I think is really flattering. It elongates your legs. Then it has a gold zipper on the side. So freaking cute. With this denim jacket. Oh so cute they're very 70s the next pair of boots oh my god I have been wanting these like sock boots for the longest time but I couldn't find ones that actually looked like they would be comfortable so I love that these have like a little bit of a thicker heel they're still kind of high so they still are like sexy but it's a thick heel so they're easy to walk in gives you good support they're a little more comfortable again it has the pointed toe which I love and the top part of them has a little tiny bit of stretch to them so they're a little forgiving if you have really thick calves though you want to be careful with boots like this because this fits very tightly around my calves if my calves were any thicker at all these would be way too tight like they just fit me perfectly and then the last pair of boots that I got are just a plain pair of black little ankle boots so I just figured these would be good if I just want like a simple plain boot nothing too high something that'll just kind of go with anything and all of the shoes I did get in a size 7 that is my usual go-to size so that's it for this haul thank you guys so much for watching I will have links to all of the items that I showed you down in the description along with the sizes if you like this video and you'd like to see more clothing hauls please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you go and I'll see you guys in my next video bye